hello guys welcome back in this video i am going to talk about the fault which i have faced in my gas detection system which is from the maker of omicron and there are three four faults which i have faced till now and i am going to share you with so the first fault which i have faced is main pump high current and the second one is uh, hc low current third one is manifold leakage no vacuum detected and fourth one is uh, low failure so one by one we'll see uh, we'll check this first fault main pump high current i'll show you what alarm i am getting so once you switch on it will show like this okay on the version warming up and i'm getting this buzzer says main pump high current and on top it will be flickering because only one sampling point is open so before doing anything just switch off this panel so i will switch off this panel and we'll go down in foam room where the main cabinets are there so as this is the complete motor set with a filter unit so i will change this with this I have removed the motor from cover and this is the motor I will change with this main pump high current is basically your uh, motor is drawing high current so you can see 11 part number which is your vanes uh, this is the spare part list so you have to replace it reg on regular interval because these vanes uh, they draw out and they have a running hour also so they sometime break and it sometime motor will get jam so when you try to run it separately on a test panel or you can see it by opening it you will see that uh, the motor is jam or maybe vanes are broken so you need to change the vanes uh, in my case i don't have vanes i was having the complete set of motor so i change it so i will start it and see if the alarm is coming or not so detector version sensor warming up 113 114nd till now it has not given any alarm means the motor is working so i will go down and check the running of motor okay you can see the countdown 96 95 second so we will wait till 91 second so when it is normally running Flow, and your both motor will be running. See, this change. This so after changing the main pump motor, um, the alarm is removed and uh, the system was running normal. So like. this you are going to solve this uh, problem one second and sensor shut down low current automatic sampling so guys hc sensor low current it indicates that uh, our uh, the current value is below 2 milliamp so if it is below 2 milliamps uh, you will get low current if it exceed 22 milliamps you will get a high current alarm and shut down so basically what you have to do you have to go to the local cabinet foam room and you have to you can see this mark line you have to clean all the uh, hoses which are connected to the hc sensor and uh, see that there is no leakage and they are properly connected because most of the time you will see that in vibration or maybe the pipe is ruptured uh, there will be a leak so try to rectify that problem Uh, otherwise you need to change the sensor so try to check any leak and uh, check the sensor otherwise if you have spare change it so we have one more alarm which is system failure manifold leakage no vacuum detected so guys for manifold leakage uh, it most of the time uh, comes after uh, purging only because after purging let's say it is uh, uh, injecting air in a particular sampling line 
and suddenly it has to create vacuum so in that period there is a def, uh, there is a defined period if it is not achieved the vacuum is not achieved in that defined period the alarm will be triggered triggered so what you have to do you have, you can go ahead and check all your solenoid and the manifold there might be any contamination or any malfunction in the solenoid wall check internally check the flow meter if it is blocked or uh, uh, there is no foreign particle available uh, check the current flow adjustment uh, like in flow meter it should be 150 to 200 liter per hour in my case it is 150 liter per hour and check the vacuum sensor also and if you can recalibrate it will be more good so these are the points you have to take for, uh, check for uh, manifold leakage these are the sampling line which i need to purge more because still the flow failure alarm is there this is for the yellow light <coughs> this is actually yellow light flow failure so i need to purge them again so guys if you want to do purging like this i have selected manual then i have selected purge you can see here manual mode purging channel number four so number four is getting purged now so before connecting any tank you have to purge it and then put in normal automatic mode so guys the flow failure alarm is very common and the main reason behind is that we forgot to close the ball wall because of that when there is a water inside the ballast tank so the vacuum pump sucks the moisture or you can say the water and it comes in your uh, pump and it will destroy your sensors your uh, solenoid walls and many things and of course your vacuum will be disturbed so you will get flow failure alarm so to, to clear this alarm you have to check uh, your flame arrester solenoid walls your vacuum pump line so all these plastic tubes are there you have to clear all these things no water should be there and then check that the vacuum is maintained or not so like this you are going to clear this flow failure alarm so guys i hope uh, you get to know something in this video uh, i will be bringing all the problems which i am facing in my upcoming videos and my motto is to share whatever the problems which i am facing and which are more different like very basic problems i cannot share like daily basis i am getting small small problems so i cannot share all those small small problem because once you are here you will handle all those problem but uh, the problems which are very different and those problems need attention if you are on a tanker ship so that need to be focused more so i request uh, all those guys who are watching till now uh, if you want you can subscribe it's up to you but do comment uh, because uh, this is the only way where i'm going to improve myself and i will come to know that what you guys want and what topics i need to cover so uh, see you in the next video till then bye bye take care